Why does hip hop hate Hobson? So, Hobson, a rapper who's absolutely loved by his fans, but hated by hip hop. Now, you probably know what I'm talking about. A rapper like Hobson is someone who gets a lot of what I think is unnecessary hate in the hip hop community. But why is that? So today, we're gonna look at the top reasons as to why Hobson gets so much hate. So, the number one reason, Hobson is corny. Now, if you've been on social media or the internet in general, then you most likely heard about this. Hobson has been hip hop's punching bag for years now. But is all this hate really justified? Is Hobson really as corny as people make him out to be. Now let's look at the type of music Hobson makes. So the early stages of Hobson's career was brought up on a lot of gimmicks and a lot of dissing rappers as well. All these no flow gimmicky ass fired up behaviors with whack beats and gap teeth like Tyler the Creator. Motherfucker, you not dope. So you try to get some attention by cussing and eating a fucking cockroach and goblin? You get no props on it. It sucks so much I get blowjobs from it. And of course, Hobson has always been unapologetic in the past when it comes to him dissing others. What's up with Tyler Creator, man? Well, you went really hard on him, man. <coughs> and uh, the Odd Future, what's your problem with him? I just so uh, it just seems like it's just random shit to just be random, and I just don't like the direction Odd Future's going in. And I just don't think they make good songs. The beats are just horrible. Now, a lot of people think that Hobson is trying too much with all the gimmicks that he's done before. And this is something that Hobson himself has been aware of and has been doing subconsciously throughout his whole career. Take jabs at people because I, 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 I knew how to keep my buzz alive. I, I was a professional at keeping my buzz alive with controversy. I mean, I, I still am. But let's move on to the next reason as to why Hobson gets so much hate and that is because Hobson is too preachy. Now Hobson has always been extremely vocal about his opinions on the world and how things should work. And considering the type of music Hobson makes, this is not something that I can disagree with. Hobson can at times sound a little bit too preachy in his music. You been brainwashed by fake life that you used to live in. When I say the word fun, what do you envision? Probably drinking and smoking out with your crew and chilling with clueless women. You trying to bang bumping new edition. It's the club, where guys put on a new persona After they get loaded with a few coronas They always shouting and wild out with habits that very few could don't have been They look for beautiful brainless bitches like you the bone of This right here is probably one of Hobson's most successful songs Just because it touches on so many sensitive subjects But the main being how teenagers waste their life on drinking and doing drugs Think about it, most people nowadays do actually drink alcohol and do some drugs like weed. Are they bad people just because of that? No, of course not, but the way Hobson is delivering the message makes it seem like they are. And this is a big factor as to why Hobson turns off a lot of people from his music. Now something interesting here, there's actually a study done on this that we as people are drawn to people who are like-minded like us and have the same values as us. So when Hobson is so vocal about not doing drugs and drinking alcohol, that right there cuts off a potential listener who might feel like Hobson is judging them based on how they live their life. Now it only makes sense to me as to why Hobson has a cult fan base while the general hip hop community are turned off by his music. And he's doing what he feels is the right thing to do. And obviously that has worked for him since he's extremely successful while still being underground. Now the last reason is Hobson disses too many rappers. Now this is basically how Hobson's career took off. Hobson gained a lot of buzz from his song Sag My Pants that was released in 2010. And in just that song alone, Hobson dissed Lil Wayne, Drake, Rick Ross, and Soulja Boy. Yeah, yeah. I snuck in Drake's house when he was alone inside. Uh -oh. You could say I have a bogus mind. Yep. I dimmed the lights down and closed the blinds. Yep. Around his neck is where my rope was tied. Yep. I yanked on it till it broke his spine. Yeah. Lately, I've been fucking pissed off. Why? Cause everybody's saying Lil Wayne spits raw. Oh. I start a big brawl and slam his ass into a brick wall. Oh. And have a fat nigga sit on them. Rick Ross. And fast forward to 2013 after Kendrick dropped his control verse, Hobson, of course, felt the need to respond and dissed Kendrick. But most important, Hip hop isn't dead no more, you see. Cause Kendrick took the bar, then raised it up higher for him, see. Unfortunately, the little niggas like four for three. The guy's a fucking midget. His high is still really short to me. But fast forward to 2016 and 2017, it really looks like Hobson is taking a new path in his career when it comes to the type of music he's making. And now, Hobson is not making music surrounded around controversy and dissing other rappers. Instead, he's focusing on talking about things that are important to him and his life. Her name could sit on the grave. Only reason she ain't dead is cause my kid on the way. The bitch is pregnant and she's stripping dodging minimum wage. She done kicked me down, locked me up, and spit on my face. But what do you think about Hobson? Are you a fan of his music? Go follow me on Twitter at Blackie Speaks. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more videos like this. I'm out. Peace.